what up everybody it's your boy the smart sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video before we get started please hit that thumbs up comment subscribe share hit the notification bell on the front of my youtube channel so you know when all my videos drop this is going to be a sneaker discussion video i've actually wanted to do this for a long time um, but it's better late than never but basically this video is simply going to be about grails when it comes to the sneaker game we all have grails we have grails we have grails on grails and of course we have unicorns and all those other types of things as well but i really want to just talk about what is the number of kicks you should you consider to be grails and what i basically mean i know that sounds confusing but I have a lot of grails. I don't put any type of limit or cap or any type of number on what my grails are because all of them had significant meaning to me at different points in my life, whether it be recently or whether it be 20 years ago. But there are some sneaker heads out there and sneaker enthusiasts that I've talked to that said, you know, grails is becoming watered down because everybody labels every sneaker that they get a grail. So that's what I kind of want to chop it up with you because because to me, it doesn't matter how many kicks you have. There's thousands of kicks, especially the last, you know, eight years or so, eight to ten years. Sneakers have exploded, not just it was, before it was just, you know, Jordan retros and Nike. But now you have Adidas killing the game. You still have the Jordan retro stuff, Nike coming up with all these new colorways, these new themes, Reeboks come up with things like with Kendrick Lamar and other artists, Ewing brand, runners, like that's that's really what I've migrated towards a lot now are runners. So Saucony, New Balance, Asics, all of these different brands, Brooks, have come out with sick, sick, sick sneakers and collabs and colorways. So there's so many sneakers. I can't sit here and say, hey, you should only have three kicks that I consider grills, or oh, you should only have five kicks, or you should really only have one kick. But there are some people in the sneaker community who feel that you should only have an X, a small amount of grills. Otherwise, you're watering it down. But my argument is that who are you watering it down for? You buying the kicks for yourself. So as long as you don't feel it's too much, or you don't feel like, okay, you're just buying everything in sight, and naming it a grill just because you got it or maybe you're calling it a grill just because it was a hype kick even though you weren't feeling it like that then you should if if you're doing that that's one thing but it's up to you what you decide in terms of the number of grills and what's considered a grill so i'm sure as hell i'm not going to tell another sneaker head yo you got a hundred kicks that you consider grills that's a bit od normally grills you know in the traditional sense of the word when it comes to sneakers would be rare kicks or maybe your most coveted sneaker in your collection but the sneaker game is too big right now to limit that and so many people including myself have huge collections as opposed to back in the day even if you were collecting back in the day you may have had 10 15 kicks now people have 100 200 300 you see athletes celebrities even conventional people like you and i who are having a thousand kicks. I don't have a thousand, not even anywhere close. I don't have 500, 300, nothing like that, but not even 200. But, you know, there are regular people who have that many kicks in their collections now. So to say you should be limited to a grill or two or three is ridiculous. Now I will say this, there should be some separation between grills and then unicorns. Like I have, literally single did and in terms of single digits unicorns that i love and that's going to be another discussion video because that's kind of where i'm thinking of shifting my collection but i'll save that for the next video that i do but certain kicks like the paranormal foams the db5s those are considered you know unicorns to me one because they're incredibly hard to get incredibly expensive and two I don't think I'll be able to attain those anytime soon unless luck falls my way. So that's unicorns should be super, super rare. But even if not, even if you have 20 unicorns or 50 unicorns, that's up to you. But let me know down below what you guys think about grails. Is it all right to have as many grails as you want? 
or it should be limited to you know three five ten sneakers but hit me up on here instagram twitter chop it up with me let me know what do you consider a grail and how many grails is too much anyway folks that is it stay tuned another video is on the way and with that being said it's your boy the smart sneakerhead and a brother is out peace